What's going on? This is Carter with Solid Tactical, and today we're going to assemble the new Solid Tactical dual target stand. <laughs> So first, what are the tools that you're going to need? This is what you're going to need. Drill. Pliers. Tape measure. A hammer might come in handy. A couple of these inch and a half, I think, or two inch binder clips will also come in handy. So also you're going to need a saw if uh, you don't already have your boards cut to length. Um, but next I'm going to show you what boards you're going to need uh, for your target stand. You need one of these, it's a four foot long two by four. Also, you're gonna need two two foot long two by fours. That's a mouthful. If you buy an eight foot at your local uh, um, hardware store, then you can cut one, two, and three. Finally, you're gonna need two five foot long one by twos. So what's included in your solid tactical target stand? First, you're gonna get a front and a back bracket. You're gonna get a target hanger with a target hanger screw or a, yeah, screw and bolt. You're gonna get three of these thumb screws. You'll get nine of these uh, wood screws. It's also included a little Phillips head bit, which if you don't have a drill, you can also use a screwdriver, it just takes longer. So if you purchase the target stand kit that includes the half size USPSA target, this is what it's gonna look like. Also within this kit, if this is the kit you purchase, you get 20 of these half size USPSA shooting targets in the, in the orange. The half size USPSA steel target, which is again, good for anything except for uh, shooting um, 50 caliber. <laughs> Don't take anything else, rifle, pistol ammunition. Um, this is going to simulate at five yards away what a full size or 24 inch USPSA target what you would be shooting at 50 yards away. So now let's assemble it. All right, so setting up the front is the first part. So you want to make sure that the way you set it up allows the one by two to go through to the ground. This is the incorrect way to set it up. If the one by two is just sitting the top of the two by four, then it kind of defeats the purpose of the three point system that prevents it from rocking. So make sure you have it at the edge. Now before putting all four screws in here, you want to make sure that you do the back measure about six inches up that's gonna give a little bit more stability for whenever you're shooting if it's all the way at the back then it's not as stable All right, before you set up the rest, it's gonna be really helpful to go wherever you're shooting. So we're gonna be shooting right down here on the other side of this dam. And so take your assembly there. All right, so we're gonna be shooting into the dam. So even if the ground isn't perfectly level, the three point, the three point system is gonna really help with stabilizing your target stand. So first thing is uh, your two by four. So you're gonna get your bracket here. You should have at least one remaining wood screw. Screw that in. So your two by four should go straight all the way to the ground. The two five foot one by twos. 
And if you want to adjust the size, that's also okay. And it may be helpful at this point if you do have a hammer. To go ahead and hammer those down. So the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your half size steel target. the bolt in first and I just go on a little bit to where it just kind of hangs and it's angled toward the ground and the last thing you do is you get your hand thumb tightening bolts go ahead and start all those And you take your pliers, make sure they're good and tight. All right, next and finally, when you're gonna line up your paper target, that's where you're gonna have your handy binder clips. Show you how to do that. So optimal placement is going to be at the steel is right behind. So if I hit in the A zone or the C zone, then I'm going to hear the steel. You might have to do a little bit of flexing with your one by twos to get it right. But all right, again to emphasize uh, shooting safety. When you're shooting steel, make sure you have some type of boots on. I wouldn't shoot in tennis shoes, eye protection, ear protection, and I would not stand any closer than five yards whenever you're shooting steel. This is meant to simulate 50 yard shot at the ANC zone of a full size USPSA target from five yards away. That's the dimension. So you can shoot steel, paper, or paper with steel, and I'm gonna simulate all of them. So uh, today we'll be shooting my SIG uh, P320 nine millimeter so notice you'll hear two it did not hit the AC zone. That's why you didn't hit the steel. So that's one of the really big benefits of having a steel backing behind your paper is you can know whenever you're hitting in the A and the C zone. You'll be able to see it a little bit clearer here. So here, just outside the AC zone, you didn't hear it. Right here in the midst of the AC zone, you heard it hit the steel, and this just right inside of the AC zone, you heard the steel. If you wanna just shoot steel, all you gotta do, remove the paper. When I shoot paper only, just remove the steel. Down off five steps. As you can see, you heard a couple that did not get in the AAC zone. 
this one and this one so you didn't hear the steel.